What's up you guys and welcome back to another video if you guys are new to my channel. Hey guys, my name is Sabrina. So as we know, we've been doing one video of makeup, one video of hair, a makeup, a hair, and today it's a hair video. So as you guys can tell by the title, these are my go-to hairstyles when I have short hair. So right now you guys know I'm in the process of growing my hair out and Having short hair is hard sometimes. You can't really find hairstyles that go well or that everything fits in. So if you guys are having a struggle with short hair, here are a few tips and hairstyles that I'm going to show you to deal with your short hair. So if this interests you, please continue watching. So all you're going to need for this video is your trusty tail comb, some bobby pins, elastics in my little Elsa and Anna bag. I have a teasing brush just in case I do want to get a little extra volume and then a few clips just to section your hair away. So this first one is kind of an elegant ponytail. So if you guys have a natural side part like I do, you're gonna go base off your side part. If you don't have a natural one, just go ahead and create one. And then all you're gonna do is just section off a little piece of your hair so it's gonna look like this weird forming triangle. And then I'm literally just going to take this and clip it away. This is a half up, half down type of look. So now I'm going to take my tail comb and I'm going to start brushing my hair back. I, for my face shape, personally keep a little bit of hair down. If you want, you could put it all back. So now that we have this general ponytail, we're just going to slick everything back. Make sure that there is no knots whatsoever. If you have hairspray, now would be the time to use it to slick everything back. I won't be using hairspray in this video because I am doing these hairstyles back to back, but if you do have some, you're more than welcome to use it. So now you're just gonna go in with your trusty elastic and just tie that. I prefer doing this as a high ponytail. And then you're just gonna tighten that up. So now we have this beautiful high ponytail. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to take this piece and I am going to tease it a little bit. And then I'm just going to comb over the surface, make sure that there's no hairs. And now you're going to take this piece very, very flat and pull it against your hair. So once you've pulled it nice and close around the edge, you're gonna take your bobby pin and just secure it in the back. And then what I like to do to hide this little elastic is I take the under section of my ponytail and I'm just going to wrap it around the elastic. Then you take another bobby pin and you secure that piece behind your ponytail. So now you have your high ponytail wrap around and then this piece is just slick on the side. If you have any frizzies like I have, go ahead and spray those down and just get rid of them. But this is my first look. So if you do have longer hair, you can bring it more on the side and bring it back. But my hair is a little bit too short right now to do that. So this is the first look. So now for this next hairstyle, it's a cute, elegant, low bun. You can wear this at the office, you can wear this at work, it makes you look put together, and you only did it in five minutes, if that. So what you're gonna do is you're going to split your hair in the middle, doesn't have to be perfect, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a half a moon type of shape that looks like this. And you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. The reason why we do half moons in hairdressing is because, can't tell anybody this, but it hides your partings, it hides your separation. So you have a cute, elegant looking hairstyle, but you're not having those harsh lines. So now you're just going to compare with your other side. So now I'm gonna take these two sections and I'm just going to pull them together. I'm gonna brush everything back. I'm just going to place this on my forehead for now. 
this is a definitely not a look. But now what you're gonna do is you're going to grab your tail comb, comb all of your hair backwards, and you're going to create a low bun. How you want to create your bun is entirely up to you. If you want to make it a little bit more messy, if you want to make it a little bit more classy, it's up to you. So when I like doing my buns for this look, I like it a bit more classy. So what I do is I fold it in half. As you can see, I do have some parts that stick out. So what I do is I go and I take my bobby pin and I just hook them back under. And now with this part, you're just gonna wanna redo your center parting if it's not clean anymore. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your comb, you're gonna brush it out, you're gonna make sure that you're smooth. You're going to bring your hair backwards. It might bump up, so rebrush it out smooth. You're going to take the piece on your right side, cross it over your bun and bring it to the left side. And then you're gonna tie it with some bobby pins. And now you'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll show you what it looks like. So you're gonna cross it over the right side. And now if you have any hairs that you wanna like tuck back, go ahead and grab them and tuck them into your bun. Now you have this really cute double crossed over bun. If you want, I like to take my little hairs in the front and I just pull them out. You can curl them if you want, but it's just this really cute little elegant looking bun. Minimal effort and you just look really put together. So now for this fourth hairstyle, if your hair is really, really short, you're gonna need some bobby pins just for in the back. And this one you'll more than likely want your hairspray because it's going to be very, very slick back. So it's all going up into a giant bun. So you're just going to slick everything back. If you guys have gel or anything, you can put that there as well. So as you can see, my hair is still short for this really high bun. So I'm just going to tuck it away with some bobby pins. So now I'm just going to secure this with an elastic. Then I'll go ahead right away and just tuck my short pieces. So now they are all tucked. I'm going to tighten this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to section it into four. And I'm just going to tease it. So we're just doing some slight teasing. And now that we have this giant ponytail teased, we're going to take it and start wrapping it around. And then you're gonna grab your little elastic and you're gonna tie it around. And now for any pieces that are sticking out, I'm just gonna go and secure them right away. And then what I like to do is I kind of play around with it and make it look like a giant marshmallow. And then I'll pull everything out and around and I'll go ahead and take another elastic and I'll kind of put this little ball together. And then I tuck any pieces under and then you just have like this giant messy but cute looking bun. I know I have all my frizzies right now, but like I would gel this back. You can kind of do like the little waves and gel it back. This I would like slick with more hairspray. Make sure that this is slicked. That part's falling down. But it's super cute. And yeah, this is just like my eh. I don't really want to get ready, but I'm going to get ready type of hair look. And it's just so fast. And the more you tease, the bigger the ball you can get. So that's my one little tip. So now for our last hairstyle, this one takes a little bit more time, but it's very like edgy, classy, 
more on the edgy side. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take a zigzag parting So now this is our parting. You can see the zigzag. Now what you're going to do is you're going to section off your hair around the temples. So this is going to be one piece, just a straight back section. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm just going to take all of the leftover hair and just tie it off with a clip for now. We have this zigzag parting. What are we going to do? We're gonna braid it. So I'm just going to do a regular French braid. I'll show you guys how to do it quickly. This whole time you're being mindful of your sectioning that you have already done. Try not to grab pieces that don't go into each other. So now we've made it to here. We're going to tie off our hair with an elastic. And now I want you to do the exact same thing on the other side. I'll do it off camera, therefore it'll speed up some things. So now we are all braided up. You can see we have our zigzag parting. What could be next? Hmm, space buns. So now what you're gonna do is you have your zigzag till about this part. You're gonna take the rest of your hair and you're gonna section it in two. It's pretty hard to section on your own, so just do as decent as you can. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to take your tail comb, I'm just gonna brush through my section quickly, and you're going to throw this up into a high bun. And then you're gonna tie it off with a black elastic, and then you're just going to tighten it up. And then you're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. So now, at this point, if you have any hairs like mine that are falling out, go ahead and tie them up as slick as you can. So once everything is up nice and slick, you're gonna take your ponytail and you are going to make this as poofy and as teased as you possibly can. Section it off and tease it as much as you can. And then you're going to grab this giant hunk of hair and you're gonna start turning them around each other. And you're gonna start to form your little space bun. And then you can take an elastic and tie them off. And then once you have it tied off, that's where you can start like pulling it out and expanding it. Making it look as poofy. This part, I'm just going to tuck it away with a bobby pin. And then you go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. So there is our little space buns. They're messy, they're cute, they're just, ugh. Like I said, this one does take a little bit more work to put in and then uh, definitely a lot more work to take out because you're gonna have all that teasing to comb through. So there are some easy go-to hairstyles that you can use on a daily basis, on a night out, or anything that you wish. If you guys do like tutorials like this, please let me know in the comments down below so I can continue making more videos like this. I know I've had requests for fishtails, for messy bun looks and for looks that any of my nurses, my vet techs, or anybody in any medical field when you guys wear scrub caps for surgeries. I've had a request to do hairstyles for that, so that could be very, very interesting to do. So if you guys like this video, please give it a big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!